Edom Manu Nigeria Wugo. Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, and welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. I promise you that I'm going to expatiate more on why this structure of a government we have in Nigeria today will never work and can never work. Nigerian future has been completely mortgaged and sold out. Listen to Soludo. Edomano Nigeria, Google. Uno na me. Since February, March, April, May, na June na wulabu. NNBC, not one cover. Kapa punya na Federation account. Ego ane ya budi weta. Kapa punya na cover. Uno na nuko ya. Ego ane jesi kame wete ba. Abada. If I never tell you about ego customs, if I put on a customs, they go the company for a tax. Why are they doing it? Ego oil, they go get it. Uno na nuko ya. Good. What he said there is the absolute reality of the time we are living in. In case you don't know, I've said it several times that Buhari have completely sold out this country. All these billions you are hearing, they are borrowing, that they have all stolen and found their way into private purses and banks across the world owned by politicians from Nigeria. The money they have borrowed, they have used the oil proceeds that have not or yet to be explored as a collateral. So nothing is coming in. All this running to Abuja every month to collect money. You have had it. Nothing is coming back from it. And the only thing they could hang on or hinge on is the import duties. And that is why things will continue to skyrocket because Nigeria is not producing anything. We are only importing. So all the money that Nigeria has for now, the internal generated revenue, all of them have crashed. Except for that one, they call it from the customs. And who are they targeting? Traders who are bringing things in. And when they bring things in, they pay this huge amount of money as import duties. That is why you cannot afford to buy anything. Nigeria is not producing. We cannot import. The one we are importing are so expensive. So the more money we are you know, exporting. We are exporting our money out of this country. Nothing is working. That is why Nigeria, you see this one that Tiribu is doing. He is being so, so creative to eke out and milk out whatever thing that is remaining of Nigerian people by all means. And not for the benefit of the people, but for his own extravagance. In just one year in office, you don't buy yacht. You don't buy private jet. You don't buy um, the armor, the limo, and whatever they call it. You don't go build billions of naira worth of a house for vice president. They are not matching break. The only thing that can make this country have any altar of hope is to restructure it back to regional government. Where every region will mind their own self man their resources then you see the productivity we are saying that nigeria is oil producing country i keep wondering if we are producing um even if it is granite oil that we are producing and selling at the time we would have been far better dubai what are they selling um what do you call it um united arab emirates what are they selling what are they selling saudi arabia kuwait and the rest of them the same crude oil you are selling Yet, nothing to show for it. Hmm. Let me tell you, we cannot continue like this. And Nigeria is heading for a crash. The military era have destroyed Nigeria, infected it with a disease. This current this democratic dispensation from 1999 to 2015 under PDP. Completely, you know, useless this country. Buhari came on board and did the killing, the slaughtering of what is left. Now, Tinibu, 
is doing the barrier. And that is the truth. There is only one miracle that can happen to Nigeria if ever there is hope of resurrection is to restructure this country back to regional government. You know why I'm advocating for that? Because war and the crisis will not get anyone. In fact, it is the ordinary people that will be the biggest victim. That's why I've always advocated, advocated for a political solution to the problem of this country. Divide this country back to regional government. And if you understand it better, for those of you who are agitating for anything, that is the gateway for anything you are agitating for. That is the freedom every Nigerian should seek. Restore this country back to regional government, go back to your region and start fighting from there. If you want referendum, that is where you get it. If you want resource control, that is where you get it. If you want your religious inclination as the Lord have been doing, that is where you get it. Without bothering anybody and without blaming anybody. And that is why they will continue in this, their madness of Abuja politics. There is no money to share anymore. There is no money to share. It is now to your tent, oh, oh Nigerians. It is now everybody to himself and God for all of us. The only victims that are in Nigeria are the Nigerian people. Unfortunately, they are the ones that are being used against themselves at the benefit of their oppressors, the political class. Let me keep it at that. I hope this message has gone so far that Nigerians should start understanding it very clearly. I'm only an advocate for good governance. If you have any opinion, drop it on the comment section. Let the discussion continue. I'll still be here. And your one and only voice, the advocate for good governance. Bye-bye for now.